Well, the day has finally arrived. Actually, it's already been happening. Who am I kidding? I'm shedding hair like crazy and postpartum hair loss is in full effect. Those days of thick, lustrous pregnancy hair are dwindling down and now it's time to show you again how much hair I'm losing after having the second baby, plus discuss how my hair texture has changed yet again, and lastly, discuss maybe some of the new growth methods I'm going to try this time around. So if you'd like to hear more about this, just keep watching. Hey curl friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rochelle and this is Disco Curls TV. If you're new here, welcome. My channel provides tips on how to care for your fine curly hair so that you feel supported and empowered to be the best version of yourself. I post weekly and I would love to have you subscribe and join my community because I do curly hair tutorials, product reviews, DIYs, pregnancy and postpartum hair chat, and much more. So like clockwork, at the 10 week mark postpartum, my hair just started shedding and this happened around the same exact time the first pregnancy. I even kept bags this time around to document it. Um, so this bag, if you can see, it's probably like glare. Uh, okay, yeah, this bag is from like 10 weeks. Okay, I'm gonna take it out too. And then this bag is like current day. So I'm still losing quite a bit of hair, but let me take this out because I think there's a big glare. This is kind of gross but it's a lot. Like if I kind of pull it apart, it's just a lot. That's just from one shampoo. Uh, <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's from like 10 weeks. That's how much hair I was losing every shampoo and I wash my hair twice a week. So, well, <laughs> let's be real here. With the two babies now, I'm not washing my hair twice a week. Sometimes it's like every 10 days. Okay, so this is the other bag. This is more current day. It might be a little bit less, but really, mm, it's a lot. It feels like a lot. Let me get here. I guess it is a little bit less. It's just a little clumped together. <laughs> There's still like conditioner in it. Sorry. Um, so I guess it's getting a little bit better, but really there's still a lot of hair coming out. I'm not one of those people that are concerned about the hair loss because I feel like postpartum hair loss is just natural. It's part of the process. And at least from my first pregnancy, I knew that it came back. It wasn't a big deal. I'm more concerned about the texture changes. During my first pregnancy, my roots um, were getting really, really wavy. So I did not want to see more waves coming in. I was getting really nervous this time around. The difference between the first pregnancy and the second are a few things. First, not only was I experiencing hair loss, but my edges took a beating. <laughs> They're not nearly as bad this time around, at least I don't think so. So when I lift this back, like I definitely notice now, like this is more recent. I don't feel like it's nearly as bad as the first time this time around. Like six months, these were like bald. At least that's what I remember. I'll have to find an image and post a before and after at some point in this video. I also had major texture changes. I was really conflicted about my hair type at that point because during the pregnancy, I didn't even realize that my texture was changing um, until I did a video about what I thought my hair texture was and people just went after me because I was wrong and I, I it looked like it was that at that point or at least in my head it was but it was getting wavier at the roots like they were getting like um, what I think is maybe like a 2C um, so they were super wavy and then it would be tight down here and it, everything was just weird it was like some areas in the front were really tight but then other areas were like straight and then a wavy, it was crazy. So fast forward to this most recent pregnancy, I feel like my hair may be reverted back to the curls. It's not nearly as wavy as it was the last time. I remember um, this, this wave was like all the way down here and I have not cut my hair and typically when I don't cut my hair, um, my curls get really loose anyway, but even now this isn't that bad. Like. It used to be a lot more wavy. I even see some tighter curls up here that I wasn't seeing the first pregnancy. So that makes me really happy because I really wanted my curls to come back. I loved my texture. I still love it. I just 
wasn't expecting the change and to see it come back after another pregnancy is kind of interesting, I guess. I guess it can change on you depending on depending on whatever, I don't know. However, a major difference in my lifestyle this time around is that I'm still breastfeeding. So as far as I'm concerned, this could all change again after I stop breastfeeding. I'm not sure, I think that's a thing. When you stop breastfeeding, you experience more shedding or more changes to your hair and your hormones and all that. I'm not really sure, but if that has been your experience, please comment below and let me know. So I think I'm actually gonna stop breastfeeding pretty soon here in the next month. And then what I'm going to do is wait about a month or a month and a half to see what kind of changes I get, if I'm losing more hair, texture changes, all that. And then I can start like a new growth regimen because I don't think it's fair to start something and say that it's working when my hair naturally is going to grow back. I'm always down to experiment with growth serums and vitamins and methods. So this is where you guys can come in. If you can help me out and tell me exactly what you'd like me to try this time around for hair growth. I am going to be looking for methods to grow back my edges, um, for reduction in shedding, and just for overall growth in general. I'm actually thinking about doing the rice water challenge to see how that works with postpartum shedding. I've heard it really helps with shedding in general. I don't know if I'll be experiencing a ton after I stop breastfeeding, but we'll see. There are also carrier oils and essential oils that I've never tried before, so I'm interested in looking into that. I tried the derma roller on my edges and that seemed to be really successful, but I really just wanna try something new. So please, please, please let me know down below in the comments, is there a shampoo, conditioner, growth serum, oil, anything I have not done already on this channel? Is there anything you guys want me to do this time around? I'm like your little test dummy here, so it's super easy to like just entice me. Like send it out in the comments and I will look them over and I will think about them. I am leaning towards doing the rice water challenge anyway, but if there's something else that I should try, let me know. If you're new to my fine curly crew, I'd love to have you subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you are properly notified of when I post new content. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.